Attorney General Eric Holder accused of playing the race card this week after Congressman Louis Gohmert suggested in a hearing that Mr. Holder doesn't care about being held in contempt of Congress. It is important that we have proper oversight. So, You don't want to go there, okay? I don't want to go there? No. About the contempt? You should not assume that uh, that is not a big deal to me. The very next day, Mr. Holder went off script at an event for Al Sharpton's National Action Network, accusing the congressman and other critics of, quote, unwarranted and ugly attacks, not just on Mr. Holder, but also the president. The last five years have been defined by significant strides and by lasting reforms, even in the face, even in the face of unprecedented, unwarranted, ugly, and divisive adversity. Look at the way the Attorney General of the United States was treated yesterday by a House committee. Had nothing to do with me. Forget that. What Attorney General has ever had to deal with that kind of treatment? What President has ever had to deal with that kind of treatment? Joining me now to respond, Texas Republican Congressman Louis Gohmert. Congressman, good to see you tonight. Your thoughts? Well, Megan, uh, we have been trying, I have been trying for over three years to get the documents from the Holy Land Foundation trial here in Dallas. It was the largest uh, funding trial of terrorism the country's ever seen. And there were over a hundred counts uh, by which the defendants were found guilty. As you mentioned, gosh, you do your homework. I'd love to have seen you try a case in front of me as a judge, but you know the facts. Care was named as an unindicted but a co-conspirator. They, the Islamic Society of North America, they tried to have their name withdrawn. The judge in Dallas said, no, there's plenty of evidence to support that. The Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals in New Orleans said, no, there's plenty of evidence to support you are a front organization for the Muslim Brotherhood. What is Hamas that they were supporting? It's the Palestinian branch of the Muslim Brotherhood. So anyway, apparently the evidence is profound, and we have been trying to get that evidence from Eric Holder. Now, when he says that they, he's been so mistreated, uh, he does not have evidence. As a judge and a chief justice, I look for evidence. He has none because uh, maybe he was too busy helping Mark, Mark Rich get a pardon. Maybe he was too, too uh, involved getting terrorists uh, help legally. But maybe he didn't notice. Alberto Gonzalez, Bush's appointment, was brutalized by Democrats in the Senate and the House. Uh, John Ashcroft was brutalized. Ed Meese, brutalized. John Mitchell, now he may have deserved what he got, but he sure got a lot worse treatment than this attorney general. So he makes these assertions like some lawyers do in opening statements. But then the trouble is when it comes to putting on evidence, he has none. Do you think he played the race card? He didn't say race and he was very careful about that. And, and it doesn't matter to me. I could care less. I want to get to the bottom of it and so that you and everybody else in the country can know exactly what CARE is, exactly what ISNA is. We are entitled in Congress to see the evidence that his Justice Department turned over to the, the, the defendants that were convicted of terrorism. He seemed to be focused more not, not on what you're asking for, but the way in which you were asking it. He seems to feel you spoke to him disrespectfully. Oh, listen, I've been asking for this for three years. And when I send another letter again last June and they wait till this year to you know respond, I apologize and their for response to is, go look at it. We're having a hard break in five seconds. So my apologies for that. And thank you for being here. All right. Here. Thank Chris you Dyer for having Walt. me on it. Thanks for your Who's homework. Next?